All right, we're live, guys. I posted it on my Facebook page. Are you gonna post it on Facebook or? I posted it on my Blackhawk page. Okay. All right, uh, I'll just wait a couple seconds. Well, either YouTube or if you go to the go to my Facebook page, I posted the link there. Yeah, well, that's I'm trying to see that it's going there. Uh, okay, well, I'm just going to do some quick tests, guys, just to make sure that we're good to go. Okay. The home point has been take off. Landing gear raising. Landing gear lowering. Okay. Run. Actually, halfway to the original Hey guys, good evening. My name is Matt Matthews. I am your pilot. This is Ron Windermere, and he's our co pilot. Tonight we're going to show you our city of Edmonton live streaming on YouTube. Uh, the purpose of this flight is in memory of Constable Sarah Beckett, who passed away this past weekend, or last week, as a result of a car accident on Vancouver Island. Our city has uh, recognized her um, by honoring her uh, with our lights that we have on our high-level bridge. And uh, we are going to take some time, go for a little flight, show you our city. Uh, and end up revealing the high-level bridge, which we currently have uh, lit up in her memory. So with that, uh, I hope you guys all enjoy the flight, and we'll uh, go from there. Okay, guys, roads. Roads. Roads, please. Okay guys, we'll be taking off here in a second. We're just doing some tr quick traffic control. Okay like guys, I'm gonna take off now. Here we go. The home point has been updated. Take off. Okay, we've got uh, 15 satellites. Landing gear raising. And welcome to the city of Edmonton, everybody. I'm just going to switch over here to video. And so, a little bit about drones. Um, I've been a commercial operator for a couple of years and I've had the pleasure with working with uh, various companies, um, doing promotion videos, inspections, pictures, um, you know, almost everything that you can think about uh, with drones. Uh, as you can see, drones, the technology has improved significantly over the many years. Uh, more importantly, now uh, uh, we're using them for a wide variety of different industries. And um, I've had the pleasure of uh, being one of the top UAV providers here in, um, in Edmonton and uh, thoroughly enjoy what I do. And as you can see here, We've got uh, a lovely shot of our legislature, which has been uh, lit up. Um, so I'm just going to take you guys for a little bit of a short flight. Not going to go too far here. I don't want to violate any of my legislation and rules. But basically, we're just going to take you guys for a little bit of a nice flight of our city. Beautiful uh, footage of downtown Edmonton. It's all lit up nice, nice and bright. Drones can be used for a wide variety of things now. Um, agriculture uses them to assess crops. Uh, 
You're now getting uh, local law enforcement using them for search and rescue and uh, EMS services or uh, fire departments are also uh, using them to help with uh, fire control. Uh, forestry can use them to uh, look for hot spots and then uh, as you can see lots of video production companies are using drones for making videos and all the rest of that good stuff. Um, there's lots of laws associated with drones. This is something that you guys can't just pick up a drone and go do some flying. Um, it requires quite a bit uh, of setup with Transport Canada and approvals and um, there's a lot of laws that you can't do. So as you can see I'm staying clear of the roadways. You're not allowed to fly over roadways. You're not allowed to fly over large groups of people. You're not allowed to interfere with manned aircraft and uh, you're certainly not allowed to uh, put yourself in a position where um, you're going to become a danger to yourself or, or to other people. So as we do that we're just doing a quick pan uh, of our city of Edmonton and uh, off in the distance here what you can see is um, you can see a little bit about uh, as we come along here there's uh, Walterdale Bridge I'm going to go up a little bit higher I'm only at a only at a short height here but uh, you can as we pull up you can see that we've got uh, our Walterdale Bridge expansion that's going on um, where they're going to basically replace the bridge here in the next little while and uh, get that up and going but uh, just a lovely maximum flight altitude reached. Our maximum height so I'm gonna just uh, do a nice pan of our city as you notice I've yet to oh, here we go here comes the bridge so I'll just bring the bridge up here in place lovely beautiful downtown flight and here we go Almost in position now, and then we're just going to switch down here. So this is the new bridge expansion that we have going on. So you can see the old one off in the distance there, uh, or sorry, in front, and then the new one. They've got the arches erected uh, over top, and we're hoping that that should be done here within the next little while. But uh, I can get relatively close, but I could have to stay within 100 feet away from the roadways. So, just kind of leave it at that. There's a method to my madness, folks. There's a reason why I've come down this far. I've got 71% uh, on my battery here, so I'm going to do a little bit more flying and a little bit uh, showing off of our city. Uh, but, just going to rotate around here. Give you guys a nice shot of our city. Keep it nice and smooth. Tell us again why you're doing this, please. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is in honor of Constable Sarah Beckett. She's the RCMP officer that uh, passed away as a result of a car accident in BC. And Edmonton has uh, honored her with uh, lighting up the bridge. And so that being said, I will rotate my camera around and everybody will have an opportunity to see the high level bridge that they have lit in her honor. Any idea how many people are watching tonight? Uh, we've, uh, we've done a lot with social media to uh, to share the word um, I'm hoping lots of people are watching I know I did a test flight a little while ago and that put me at uh, uh, almost 300 people just watching it but uh, we've done a lot of uh, a lot of uh, sharing on the social media and a lot of folks have been talking about it so uh, I'm hoping that we get a few thousand people that are out watching it if not then it's been saved for a uh, it's been saved on YouTube, and people will be able to watch this flight later on. So late, late, sorry, you're, sorry prob you're probably expecting an audience, um, probably a, a lot of folks that aren't in Edmonton, right? That's right, yeah. I, I am aware that there's quite a few people that are going to be watching this from right across the country, and we do have it shared on a couple of Facebook pages, and uh, um, those are going to be seen worldwide. So, like I said, this is, this is our way of thanking... Uh, Constable Beckett for her services and um, yeah here is our high level bridge that is lit up in her honor. How amazing is this technology getting everything because probably five years ago none of this was possible. Right? None of this was possible six months ago <laughs> uh, to be able to live stream with a drone like this um, on YouTube. Uh, the drone technology of course has been uh, uh, you know forever improving over the last little while 
but uh, you know there's just some amazing technologies that have been coming out over the last last little while here and uh, you know lots of people are taking full advantage of that and all the things that drones can do cool thanks Yeah, 59 percent we're good so ladies and gentlemen this is our high level bridge it's lit in honor of constable sarah beckert all of her services that she's done uh, we thank you for your services we thank all the rcmp for all of their services as well as all the ems personnel across across our nation um, you know you guys do a lot and ask very little in return and uh, this is just a small token of us saying thank you for everything and we uh we wouldn't be a society uh, without your guys' services. So we thank you very much. 55%. So I'm just going to do a nice side pan. Absolutely beautiful. So within uh, the next two or three minutes, we're going to start to slowly bring it in for landing, guys. Hey, guys. But uh, again, we, uh, we appreciate everybody's time that they've taken to volunteer and help us out. But more importantly, Constable Sarah Beckett, this is for you. We, uh, we appreciate your service. Thank you very much. And to all police officers and EMS, we thank you for your service. I'm at 41% uh, everybody. I'm slowly going to start bringing everything in, but uh, of course as I do that, I'll bring it in and keep a nice line of sight on the high level bridge. So again, we thank everybody for all of your support and we hope that uh, you guys enjoyed our short flight this evening. We're about uh, 60 seconds from landing on a beautiful evening here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We thank the City of Edmonton for recognizing Constable Sarah Beckett for her services. And again, may this serve as a reminder that uh, we're a proud city and we're very, very fortunate for uh, 
all of our service personnel, EMS, city police, RCMP, military, we thank you for your service. Ron, I'll get you to just keep it, keep it on the bridge as I'm coming in. You have control of the camera. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great evening. It was a pleasure to do this for you. Thank you. Landing gear lowering. Stand by. And thank you very much, everybody. We are done. Ha 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 ha! Awesome! <laughs>